response before it is submitted and therefore we can't agree the delegation if we're going to do that. Can I just ask you, surely this depends on the question of time. Yes. I mean, if I've understood the Chairman of Bang, is there another meter of policy before the deadline for submission? And my view is that we should put in place delegation but say it should only be used if it can't come back to committee because of the committee cycle and the consultation. Chairman, I would agree with that. I have referred to the town clerk about the time table and that meeting, but I can't cope with that. <laughs> Chairman, I think that the, 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 well, the technical <laughs> chairman's suggestion is sound. Can I also suggest that if we do not use delegated authority, that actually we circulate yeah, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, Sorry, Chairman, can then, if, if we are going to do that, and I can see the sense of it, I do think that we all need to be circulated, have the opportunity to respond, and that the, those that are exercising the delegation should have to have cognizance of those views. Um, and if there's a significant disagreement with the um, proposed reply, then I think we need to call a meeting of the... Uh, this is yes, really uh, fundamental. Um, I, because I, mean, I mean, agree with you on that. I think that if there is a, a divergence of opinions once we've seen the proposal and it's gone around, then I would suggest it does come back to the committee. Marianne. Thank you, Chairman. This is why we arranged the meeting with Transport for London so members could actually see this scheme because it all had a huge impact on the city and on their wards and businesses as well as residents. Um, the consultation period keeps changing week by week. Um, I would ensure and urge members to go online, look at this scheme in detail, and comment and urge your residents and businesses. There are certain areas which could be quite severely impacted. Um, the officers have been working with the figures which we've just released, and I'm sure a full report comes to planning, um, but perhaps that should be circulated to the members of the, this committee as well. And I, I do feel that if it's necessary that we have another meeting 
to discuss before we put in our final consultation, if it's appropriate. Yeah, I think that from what we're starting to hear, that the current plans will not be the ones that we put forward anyway. There's some changes. Yes. Uh, just to say briefly, Chairman, I'm just having a great concern in Castle Plainard, um, particularly the potential impact on pedestrians, because we have ongoing problems with the pressure of pedestrians already on the streets, and if they're going to have to wait longer to cross. But one message we're getting from our from some people in the ward, they don't understand how we can have had so many meetings with the TFL and yet say that we don't have full detail, and it might be helpful if that could be clarified. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 